Welcome to this session. Uh, we have been talking about uh, good writing, uh, reading good uh, material, uh, technically well written material and uh, trying to write uh, similar stuff. So, and we have also seen a couple of examples, uh, the writings of uh, Raman and Einstein to see how they have written. So, now I want to do a small tutorial and in fact, two tutorials. This is the first one, it is called evaluate this passage. What I want you to do is to read through this passage uh, very closely and I want you to analyze the writing in terms of the characteristics of good writing that we identified earlier. The first is the content, the second is uh, clarity, the third is uh, style and voice. Okay. So, this is a passage, it starts uh, when we think of atoms, we have a clear picture in our minds, a central nucleus and a swarm of electrons surrounding it. We conceive them as small objects of sizes measured in angstroms of the order of 10 power minus 8 centimeter and we know that some hundred different species of them exist. This picture is of course, quantified and made precise in modern quantum theory. And the success of the entire theory may be traced to two basic facts. First, the Bohr radius of the ground state of the hydrogen atom namely h squared by 4 pi squared m e squared is of the order of 0.5 angstroms, where h is Planck's constant, m is the mass of the electron and e is its charge, provides a correct measure of atomic dimensions. And second, the reciprocal of Sommerfeld's fine structure constant h c by 2 pi e squared is of the order of 137, gives the maximum positive charge of the central nucleus that will allow a stable electron orbit around it. This maximum charge for the central nucleus arises from the effects of special relativity on the motions of the orbiting electrons. We now ask, can we understand the basic facts concerning stars as simply as we understand atoms in terms of the two combinations of natural constants 1 and 2. So, 1 is the Bohr radius, 2 is Sommerfeld's fine structure constant. In this lecture, I shall attempt to show that in a limited sense we can. So, the exercise for you is to go back, read it maybe a few times and comment on content, whether there is some content in this passage or not clarity, whatever content that is there, is it communicated clearly or not and then style and voice. So, what are the things you notice, uh, how is it structured, does it give the background, does it uh, state the hypothesis, uh, does it do it well and, and, and things like that. So, exactly like we discussed the passages from Raman and Einstein, I would like you to go through this passage and comment on it. So, you, you, you have to specifically try to answer the question, uh, namely do you think this is a well written passage and if you think it is uh, good, you have to say what is good about this writing. If you think it is bad, you have to say what is bad about this writing. This is continuation of evaluating a passage uh, to see if it is written well. Uh, let us read this passage. It says, uh, computer magnification is a universal computer phenomenon. This technique is applied in physics, astronomy, biology, medicine, architecture, particle physics, genetics, microbiology and in chemistry. Without magnification, deep studies and research are impossible. For the first time in the history of mathematics, the authors applied magnification technology and obtained a solution for a nearly 4300 year old the parallel postulate problem. In brief, an impossible proposition was proved as possible. This is a problematic problem. Further studies will give birth to a new branch of mathematical science. Again, I want you to go through this passage uh, maybe a few times and answer questions. Namely, is there any content in this passage? Is it communicated clearly? And if the communication is clear, then how is the style and voice of the passage? Is it written well? 
if it is written well, what are the things that make it good writing. And if you think it is not written well, if, if it is bad writing, then you also have to identify what is it that is bad about this writing. Okay, so, this is another tutorial uh, for you to do. Thank you.